Hi friends, it's Amy. Welcome to my channel. Today I have a library book sale haul for you. So let's get to it. My library just had its biannual um, book sale. I had a lot of fun going through and going through the books, but I told myself I needed to be really picky. I also went on the non-bag day day so every book was a dollar so I wanted to make sure that I was getting books that I wanted that I wanted to read and I did a really good job I only got four books I did at one point have 10 books in my hands now this first one is a book that I already have on my shelves and so I felt a little guilty about it, but there was more than one copy at the sale. And the copy that I have is the movie cover edition, and I hate movie cover editions a lot. So when I saw Skipping Christmas by John Grisham with its, I don't even know if this is the original cover, but at least not a movie cover, I... I had to pick it up. I read this book probably every other year. I love it. I love how funny it is. I watch the movie all the time. I do love the movie. I love this cover. Ooh, <laughs> I need to redo my nails, but I love <laughs> this cover. Look at how beautiful this is. And I just, I'm going to read this. I, I, I am. So it just felt worth the dollar. Then the next book I got is an author by, this is Losing the Moon by Patty Callahan Henry. So this is her debut novel. I've really been wanting to get into Patty Callahan's backlist and I really like this cover um, and I really love Patty Callahan's writing. So this is about a woman who, um, kind of has been waiting her whole life for the first time that her son brings home a serious girlfriend. And he brings home a girl and she seems nice, but then she meets the girlfriend's dad and it's an ex. I just think that's fun. <laughs> so it sounds good. It is her debut. It's her backlist. I just, yeah. Okay, and then I'm kind of a sucker <laughs> when I see Book of the Month editions at any kind of Goodwill or sale or anything like that, especially if they're books that I am interested in reading. This book I never actually, I've never heard of. So this is People Like Her by Ellery Lloyd. This is from December of 2020. So this is from before I was... A member of Book of the Month. Um, this is also a debut and it has to do with social media and influencers and things like that and I just kind of am drawn to those I think it's interesting. So to her adoring fans Emmy Jackson aka at the mama bear is the honest insta mom who always tells it like it is, to her skeptical husband, a washed-up novelist who knows just how creative Emmy can be with the truth. She is a breadwinning powerhouse, brilliant at monetizing the intimate details of their family life. To one of Emmy's dangerously obsessive followers, she's the woman who has everything but deserves none of it. So it's going to be thrillery. It says, followed by millions, watched by one. I don't know. It just sounded so intriguing and I carried it around for a really long time. And I just, <sighs> psychological suspense it just gets me every time. Oh, Ellery Lloyd is a husband and wife writing team. That's so cute. Then this last book is the book that I am the most excited about. This is an author that I have definitely been wanting to read more from. And I just am more intrigued, more and more intrigued by this book every time I hear somebody talking about it on book two. And that is The Last Time I Lied by L Riley Sager. 
So I have read Home Before Dark, loved it. I have Final Girls. I received it as a gift from a wonderful, wonderful subscriber. And now I have The Last Time I Lied. It is a book of the month version from July of 2018, way before I was a member. Um, but this takes place at a summer camp, like where there's a murder at the summer camp. And then years later, um, one of the girls is writing about it. Oh, nope. She turns her past into paintings. So she's trying to dig deeper and find out what actually happened at Camp Nightingale. It's, I'm so excited for this one. Not as excited to read um, Survive the Night. I've heard such mixed things and his new one I've heard mixed things about. However, Final Girls, The Last Time I Lied and Lock Every Door. I really want to read those. And now I have this one on my shelves. I'm so excited. <laughs> All right. So that's it. Those are the four books that I got. I'm so happy to have these books on my shelf. So I'd say it was a pretty successful trip. Have you read any of these books? How do you feel about them? See anything that sounds intriguing to you? I would love to hear from you down in the comments. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you would like to see more from me, make sure you're subscribed. I hope that you're finding something wonderful to read. And until next time, happy reading. Bye.